Get psyched for some more uninvited. Last time I got attacked by dogs. It was bad. I died. I want to get in that building that those dogs are guarding. But before I do that, I need to backtrack a little bit. I forgot some more stuff. I always forget things. It's in this room. And that little demon son of a bitch. I still can't get that key from him, but... There's something that I didn't try to open. I didn't try to open up that cabinet. What's in that cabinet? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, it turns out that uh, if you try to open it, it is... it's locked. Alright, well, uh, good for us. We have a key. Does this key work? I hope it does. It does! Look at that. It's a Jip doll. Come on, don't you don't you know what a Jip doll is? It's um super important. It's a it's a Jip doll. I think it's actually supposed to be Gypsy doll. Let's examine it. The old looking doll is shaped like a Gypsy fortune teller. All right. The detail on the doll makes you think that it is almost alive. Huh, hint hint. So let's go ahead and take that. And uh, we're going to uh, finally cast some spells and get some use out of it. So. Uh, we have this doll doll spell. Let's uh, let's speak the doll doll spell, and uh, the doll uh, starts to talk. Yeah, talk to my pro pious brother. I almost said <laughs> Pi <laughs> Prius. What? Pious brother. He can help you find your sister. Oh, my sister. That's right. I totally forgot about her. I thought there was this side story about Dracon and some sort of pie and uh, something about a. I don't know, technology? I, I don't know. But he, he... The doll gives us another spell. Oh, Sesame. So I'm guessing I have to use that spell when I'm near the doll's pious brother. Alright. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and move back outside. Get some fresh air. Backyard. Can't do anything. I'm gonna save the game. Just in case if I screw up on the dogs again. But I won't, because I know exactly what to do. Dogs are pretty easy. You're like, yeah, okay, dogs. They're pretty ferocious. But what do dogs... What do dogs generally fear? Let's think about this for a second. How can I get these dogs to get the hell out of my way? Well, you know... Now that I think about it, all of my dogs have been scared of one thing. Thunder. Yes. And I happen to have a thunder spell, so let's... Let's... I can't do that? What? Are you serious? Can I just use the Thundidi spell? There we go. Alright. Thundidi! There's some lightning and the dogs just... Well, they vaporize. Well, no. They, um... They get scared and they run off. They recoil. They put their tails between their legs. And they scamper away. The door is now unguarded. Alright. Perfect. However, if I try to open this door, it's gonna kill me, right? No, it doesn't. It's fine. Let's go inside this, uh, building. Which just happens to be a church! With, um... I don't know. Pretty religious music, I guess? This music makes me think of... I don't know, I always think of uh, The Simpsons and Rod and Todd. You know, uh, Flanders kids. And, uh... I don't know, there's a couple episodes where they're like playing video games, they're like religious video games. I don't know. That makes me think of that for some reason. Or this music makes me think of that for some reason. Alright, so we got some items here. We've got a, uh, we got a, uh, stone bust. This displays a look of pious self-righteousness. Oh, huh. Let me guess, I had to talk to that thing. Probably. And we got some, uh, we got some candles. We got some, uh, holy water? Crafted something, okay, that's cool. Desecrating the shrine is probably not a, not a good idea. Alright, so, um, I will not piss on the shrine. Hmm, there's a marble bowl filled with celestial water. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. It's probably important. Got myself a goblet. Yeah. As you fill the goblet, you see the altar move to the side. Uh-oh, that's not good. I found a secret passage. Huh. Alright, can I go down the secret passage? That seems like a good idea. I'm sure there's nothing down there that's just gonna murder me. No. No, of course not. You really don't want to climb down. It turns out there is a giant spider. Uh, that's bigger than a bread box. Uh, okay. That's a pretty big spider, now that I think about it. I mean, a bread box is relatively large. Right? 
Uh, yeah, something like that. Alright, well, uh, it turns out that the Stellini spell doesn't work here either, so don't even bother using it. No, instead, I'm gonna use this, um, Doll Doll spell and see if I can talk to the... Actually, no, I wanna speak the... Oh, Sesame spell. That's what the doll said. I shouted as loud as possible. The marble bust speaks. It moans these... Oh, it moans. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Look at those lips go. Let the door be open for this poor strayed lamb, but he must not travel in darkness. As soon as the statue stops speaking, the door opens. All right. Don't travel in darkness, you say, huh? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your words and I'm just gonna ignore them. I'm gonna move to the next room with darkness. Cause that's a fantastic idea. Let's go out here. Oh wow, something out in the distance. That's, that's kind of cool. That's a large stone maze. Oh, that's a ghost. Oh, that's terrifying. Um, <laughs> in the shape of a class classic ghost. It turns out it's just a kid wearing a bed sheet. Swoops down like a bird of prey. This <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, great. It's ripping me apart. Why is everything ripping me apart? Why can't you just kill me quickly? Why do you always have to make it so violent? This shrieking face is the last thing you'll ever see. And I'm dead. Wham, wham. Yeah, so, um... Don't uh, don't go out there in darkness, cause you get you get ripped to pieces by a ghost. But that's okay. That's okay, cause we have light. Oh yes, we do. We have light. We have matches. All right, matches burst into flame. We are going to light that candle we picked up a couple videos ago. And I got a candle. All right, candle one is burning. So we have light now. I should be able to move out here safely. I hope. That is a freaky looking ghost though, I'll, I'll give you that. It's, it's fairly horrifying. Wait, what? I lit the- I lit the candles! Why is it still- what? Why are you still attacking me, ghost? Ghost eats it all! God. Alright, maybe I have the wrong candles? Maybe I need these candles. Can I take these candles? I can't take those candles. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Does it really matter what candles are lit? As long as I have light, I should be okay, right? And see, that's that's the problem with this game, is you you solve the puzzle, but not in the exact way that the game wanted you to solve the puzzle, so you still die. Yeah, fantastic, right? All right, so we got some candles lit. Hopefully now I can move out and the ghost doesn't rip my face off. All right, ghost, bring it on. I've got candles, plural this time, bitch. And he flies away, that's it. So, <laughs> Ah, it's offended by the flames. Well, that's that's good to know, I guess. Uh, do I really want to go to the maze right now? I guess. Let's go to the maze. Ugh, the maze. I always get lost in the maze. Yeah, well. Alright, we're in the maze. Alright, okay. All I can see is stone walls. If I get lost, I can use telemaze. Remember? Telemaze. It's a spell. I picked it up. Teleports me out of the maze. That's, that's why it's called Telemaze. You seem to recall something written on that old scroll. Yeah, something about he who moves is the moon or something. Something dumb. Um, what's this? This is, uh... There are letters engraved on the stone slab. It is very hard to read them. The Blothany gem is in the deep place. Oh, okay. It's good to know. Let's move to the left. Alright, seems good. I'm just gonna do re I don't know, I guess we'll just keep going west. Alright, still moving west. Let's just keep going west. Let's keep going west. Alright, there's nothing here. Can I move down? Alright, move south. This is really a dead end. There's nothing here. Alright, we're just gonna do this like we did Wolfenstein 3D. We're just gonna follow the walls. You're always facing north, keep that in mind. Alright, so I guess let's go north. Does that make sense? All right, we're moving north, moving on, moving on up. All right, we got another, another stone slab. Yes, there are letters engraved. Blah blah blah. The pendant can protect you from the undead. Yeah, I actually knew that already. That's what the letter told me at the start of the game. Thanks, appreciate it. Where the hell am I going? I'm lost in a maze. Lost in a maze. All right, we got another thing. Okay. What does this say? 
the bouncing creature loves things that fly. Okay, that's actually a very good hint for later on. Shortly later on. Let's just keep going this way. I have not run into any undead yet. Like the stone slab said I was going to, but you know. Oh, there's some undead! Haha! <laughs> Alright, I got some zombies. This is like a scene from The Living Dead. Okay. It brings new meaning to the term dead end. Really, game? Really? We're, go we're going there? Um, alright, well, um... I know that music's playing is usually what plays when you die, but I can actually do stuff here. Um, if I do anything to the zombies, they will kill me. So I'm just gonna go backwards. Uh, I'm gonna save, too, because I'm not sure if I can go past the zombie? I don't think I can. If I come on this screen, you can see that, uh... On, like, the bottom left little map. That I can move over here, but I think if I do, I get murdered by zombies, so... Oh, no, I'm fine. Alright. I'll just walk right past the zombies, then. Uh, no problem. Okay. Seems good. Still don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Alright, moving east. And it's another dead end, I think. What's this say? The words in the gravestone read, Here lies Talamar. So we think. Okay. Well, see you later, Talamar. Yeah, there's... I'm pretty sure there's nothing important there. I'm relatively positive of that. Just gonna keep going south now, I guess? Now we're back over here. Ah, look at this. Another... Another tombstone. Luckily, your name hasn't been carved into it. Okay, it's just a blank tombstone. Seems good. Let's go this way. Where am I going? I'm, oh, hey, look, it's a zombie. All right. All right, we're going to save the game. I know what I need to use here. Yes, you want to use the pendant. But this is, you know, this is a zombie. I should be able to kill it with an axe, right? Just aim for the head. So we're going to go ahead and take this axe, and we're going to bash its skull in. Because that's totally a thing you can do in this game. I mean, the zombie doesn't get super pissed or anything. Oh, wait, no, the zombie does get super pissed. He grabs me with his bony hands, and he, uh, he takes a bite out of me, just like the dogs did. What? No! No! Why is everything eating me? The ghost eats me? Rips me apart? Dogs eat me? The lady in the stupid southern outfit eats me? Man, I swear. Maybe Master Crowley just needs to, I don't know, stop being so stingy with his leftovers or something. Alright, well, here's the zombie again, blah blah blah. I have a pendant for you, buddy. I have a pendant for you. Where is that pendant? There's the pendant! Alright. I don't know why a pendant is more useful than an axe, but... You know, you're gonna do what you're gonna do, right? So, I use the pendant, light shoots out, and the zombie is blasted right in the face. And, uh, he's dead. No more zombie. Yeah, there you go. Uh, moving east? I don't want to go south. Let's just, let's just keep wandering around this place. That seems like a good idea. I will eventually find my way. I hope. I'm gonna keep going this way. It's a box. Can I open the box? Alright, well. Hold on. It's a marble coffin. You realize with sadness that you two will... Okay, that's pretty depressing. Thanks, game. Alright. Is there nothing in it? The lid is open. Can I take it? Can't take it. What the hell? Alright, um... Sweet. That's super useful. Just come down this way, I guess. I'm looking for a tombstone that's special. I'm gonna find it. This is a dead end. Okay, I don't wanna go this way. Just wandering around this dungeon. This maze. It's pretty boring, I know. I apologize, but it is what it is. And another dead end. Well, that's not right. Maybe I want to go this way? No, this is just the way I was... Ah, oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is what I wanted. Let's look at this. Roses... Oh, wait. A rose is but a rose. You wonder what the message could possibly mean. Hmm. A rose is just a rose, you say. Well, it turns out I have a bouquet of roses. Or a bouquet of flowers. Is it roses? I don't know. It just says it'll look good on a tombstone, so you can actually use these flowers here on this tombstone. 
and special crazy things will happen. As a gesture of kindness, I put my bouquet down at the foot of the headstone, and it moves! How does it know? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. The flowers are magical. Why not? I mean, I guess the puzzle kind of makes sense. Flowers and tombstones. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's that's fine. Alright, so we move over here. We got this, uh, we got these three cages, right? Yeah, three cages. Not, not looking too good. I'm not liking the looks of that. Let's just move south. Oh, look at here. It's, um, it's a giant tomato who moves up and down, and there's a gem underneath him. Yeah. It's the strangest creature I've ever seen, that's for sure. It bounces up and down. There's some kind of jewel behind it. Would you say that this is the creature uh, that the scroll mentioned? Uh, yeah, it actually is. Here's the interesting thing, though. I don't think it can actually kill you. I'm going to save my game, though, just to be sure. Um, I don't really feel like getting murdered by... What the f... There's no description for this thing. That, I mean, really, giant tomato with a face is the only thing that works. <laughs> can I talk to it? I can't talk to anything in this game, but... Oh. It actually does talk back. I'm the guardian of the Blothany gem. No way. No one may touch it. Okay. Can I hit it in the face? Ugh! It just bounces back. Okay. Uh, that's kind of cool. Can I use an axe on it? Can I pop this son of a bitch? Yeah. To make you a BLT, bitch. Nothing happens. Okay. Well, you know, I usually end this with me getting killed by something, but that's not going to happen, so this thing can't kill you. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. <laughs> Let's open up these cages. Let's open up the cages. I have a key. You have to use the key. Key one. I have key one. Let's use key one on these cages. Can't find a keyhole. It's, it's right freaking there. You son of a... Ugh, ugh. All right, key. Keyhole. The cage is unlocked. Three three doors open, and you have a bird, a cat, and a snake. Huh. And there you go. Before examining any of this stuff, before doing any of that, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna punch the cat in the face, because I'm not a cat person. The internet's gonna hate me now. And so will these three hungry animals, because as soon as I try to hit that cat in the face... They all get super pissed, and they attack me, pecking, biting, snarling, they do everything, and I can't defend myself against a bird, a cat, and a snake. I mean, is Nameless Protagonist here just like the weakest guy in the world? Because I'm starting to get the impression that this guy's a giant pussy. Anyways, I'm Wizarduous, thanks for watching, next time I will, uh, I'll solve that puzzle with the three animals. And I'll solve the puzzle with the giant floating tomato. And it took me all the way back here. That really bites. Hmm. Or does it? Does it bite? No, it's, it puts me right here. Sweet. Alright, anyways, I'll see you guys later.